you cannot uh, apply that argument. Yes, the separate body, I've given you the example, example of collector of customs. Every day they are filing before us, collector of custom appeals, his own order is come and it's been turned upside down by the high court. So he comes before us. There are we hear cases. him, nobody's ever raised an objection that they can't be heard. There are two cases recently in which this honorable court has held. But I can say, which are those two cases? Yes, those two cases, the recent one is 2023, PLD, uh, PLD uh, 2023, Supreme Court page, etc. Page 516. The other one? And the other judgment, where the ombudsman has... Uh, uh, the other judgment, yes. The other judgment, sir, uh, PLD 2020. 2020. 2020. Supreme Court. Supreme Court 586. Uh, what was the facts of the first case? They, they have held... So first case, let's go to 516. What is the ratio in that case? The, uh, yes, they held the order which was passed by commissioner and was challenged subsequently before the High Court, before the Appellate Forum and High Court. Which Commissioner? That he, uh, the Commissioner cannot come. The Commissioner, before. Election Commission? Uh, the, uh, yes, uh, not the Election Commission. That, in that case, it was uh, Competition Commission. Gee. But there is a clear judgment. Okay. So, so how is it? No, let's finish with one judgment at a time. How is this judgment applicable to a constitutional body? Sir, can we see para 23, page 535. Why I'm putting this before this honorable court? Please, please, please. The whole exercise okay. may let's be read it. unnecessary. Uh, no, no, let's read it. I, 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 to be honest, I've not read it, so let's read it. Yes, you sir. may well be right. Page 23. Yes. It may also be petitioner to mention here that KNN's food, which may have been aggrieved of the decision of the tribe, on the point of non-applicability, the provisions of Section uh, 10.2a of the Act has been impugned the decision of the Tribunal by preferring an appeal to this Court, and it is the Commission that has challenged the decision of the Tribunal on that point by filing the appeal. In this regard, we may observe. Though the role of the Commission under the Act is primarily of a regulatory body, it is a quasi-judicial, as well as some provision, uh, as well under the same provisions of the Act. The provisions of clauses A and D of Section 10.2 of the Act, in our view, envisages the quasi-judicial role of the Commission while declaring upon the divergent claims and allegations of two competing undertakings. And as held by this Court in Bahaki Mothasib's case, the an adjudicatory body deciding a matter in the exercise of a quasi-judicial powers between two rival parties under a law cannot be treated as an aggrieved person if its decision is set aside or modified by higher power under the law or by a court of are order. you equating are you equating a quasi judicial body with a constitutional body sir a statutory body are you uh, i don't know what your sir, answer is there is the so first say yes no that he puts distinction between a statutory and a constitutional body they are all under the law under the fun, uh, fundamental no, 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 law no 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 not at all a constitutional body functions under the constitution yes a statutory body is a sub constitutional body statute. functioning under a statute so are you equating the two 